Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Quantum Break. It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, I stopped playing this game because I'm kind of... This part's kind of tough, and the game crashes a lot, so there's been some problems with this, but this game's awesome nevertheless, so let's continue. How the hell am I going to defeat this guy? I know, right? Okay. Damn it. It's gotta have some goddamn weakness. I know, right? Uh, uh, run! Not even scratching. Damn it. Oh no, I died. Damn. I took too long. Well, at least I survived longer than last time. Okay, let me go back to my controls, because I obviously forgot how to play this game. It's been a while. No. Oh, controls. Duh. Yeah, sorry, you know how to walk and jump. I already know. Okay, mouse 3 to stop time, shift to dodge, control to shield, V for vision. Okay. Alright. Gotcha. Skip this. Because we already saw this too many times. What the fuck is that? I know, right? All right, there's gotta be a way to beat this thing. Uh... One foot in front of the other. Nice, I love that song. Damn, that didn't work. It must have some sort of weakness, right? Damn. Shit. It's gotta have some goddamn weakness. I know, right? Go around. Nice. Damn it. Come on, keep running. Damn! Keep moving.
All right. Damn it. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Okay. At least you know it's weak spot. Just gotta hit it where it hurts the most. Go. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, this is one of those times where I, sh where I wish I had a grenade launcher or something. Damn! Oh shoot! That was not a good idea. That was not a good idea whatsoever. That was my dumb fault. I know, right? Mm. There's some stuff around here. These things were designed by walking tanks. They weren't for you. Don't flatter yourself. Which way is Amaral's office? What's this? Oh, hello. Huh. Okay. Might be able to get out from here. Oh, geez. Well, that wasn't good. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth, Jack. Alright, guys. I am back. Sorry about that. The game crashed on me. What the hell? Oh, wow. I missed this. It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chronon technology for years. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Which way is Amaral's office? These things were designed by walking tanks. They weren't for you. Don't flatter yourself. Oh, hello. Alright, I know what to do here. 
I gotta make sure I don't screw up here. Move out the way. There you go. Uh. Whoa, what the Jack? Seriously, my dude? Let's try it again. Jack, why did you do that? I didn't want you to Okay, whatever. Ooh, is there something over here? No, it's just a freaky time stuff. Oh, oh my god. There you go. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Hmm. Dr. Emerald's office must be close. No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. Emerald's office. Yeah, Emerald had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. Hmm. Intel. Another intel. Oh no, that's a narrative. Wow. Okay. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Something fashionable. Oh, shit. Emeralds at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Nice. Look at all this stuff. Wait, what? There's something down there. Mm. Uh oh. How do I get down there? Oh, there's stairs. Duh. Duh, gamer. There's freaking stairs. Jan oh, quite wow. expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Hmm. No. 
Any intel? No. Oh, yes. Intel or narrative, whatever. Brenner's mug. All right, two in. All right, got all the intel. How do I get in there? Okay. Not going in there yet. There's something over here I need to get. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. Six out of eight. Nice. Press T to view upgrades. Okay, I have four. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's do this one. The Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken from Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, is much lighter. Almost like a civilian model. Hmm. The lifeboat. Oh, dude. Come on, you're at work. Duh. <laughs> yeah, focus on your job, not the uh, dating site. Well, definitely not that way. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place. Cool. We'll, we won't go out yet. We need some more intel or narrative stuff. I think that's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Lovely. All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Open fire! That's Jeff Joyce. Isn't he supposed to be locked up? Well, so much for that.
Time's not gonna make my life any easier. There's gotta be a way out of here. Damn. The alarm must have locked everything down. Maybe I can turn it off. Yeah, not good. Great. Oh, good. That's what I'm talking about. for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Want to be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail weenie. I'll make my way there. You see, Hash getting shot at was an insider job. I create a window for us, but Serena's looking for you. Remember what we said. I'll keep him occupied, but switch to the Monarch frequency to make sure you stay out of his crosshairs. Okay, I'll see you at the party. Takes care of that annoying sound. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Great. Another one of those guys. All right, so how are we going to deal with Big Boy over here? Ooh, headshot. Wow, I got That's lucky. Yep. I got lucky at the last moment. I would have been dead. things at the party. I need the exact coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Beth? I'm on my way. He took out my entire squad. Requesting immediate backup in here. Attention all units. Reroute to the tunnels immediately. Negative. Seal off all exit points, but I go in alone. He's mine. 
Nice work. Oh boy. Ooh. Huh. Again. Oh man, why did I have to do it at the fireworks moment? I love the fireworks. Why, game? Why? I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. Nice. Oh, whoa! I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon Dampener. It would drain my powers. Damn. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. Ooh, that's a cool little helicopter. Ooh! My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Okay. Gotcha. Can't do nothing. He's got that shield. Nice. Get to the party. You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Was there some... There's gonna be a way to get past that gate. Is there anything over here? Alright, let's go back here. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Oh! I get it. Okay, good. Whoa. This is the this is only the tunnel only entrance Joyce could have entered. Secure, Secure the, the exit. exit. I'm going in alone. Again, the game crashed. I am shocked about this. So let's try this again.
Ugh. Alright. This is this the is only the tunnel entrance Joyce, Joyce could have entered through. through. Secure, Secure the, the exit. exit. I'm going, going in alone. Sir, sir, sir you're sure you sure don't want support? Want support? We've seen We've what seen Jack, Jack can do. Can do. I'm, the I'm the only one who can stop him. Stop him. If he gets to the yes, mainland, he'll lose him for good. Secure, secure the exit. exit. All right. Am I supposed to go in this door? No. All right. At the party. Beth should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. Shock text message. Ooh. Someone shot Hatch. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? Look like the target. Focus time, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Shooting up half of Paul's little amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral, somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Fiona okay, Cocktail Sword. Away. Get Charlie drunk enough to access the lab. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Hmm. Oh my god, there's so much to read. Six out of seven. Ooh. Very arts artsy in here. Place at the wrong time, literally. Jack, Dr. Amaral's in there. We need to get her out before time kicks back. Good. All right. We shouldn't wait. Let's go get Dr. Amaral. Jack, 
get her moving before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor. We need your expertise. No. I'm not asking. It's collapsing! Come on, move! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Where's the damn boat? It's right there. Hey, go! Get her on the boat, I'll keep you going. Oh, oh, hurry up! You'll never get away with this! Go my way, big boy. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Gotta go. Damn it. That's tough. Jack, they're closing the gate. We'll be sitting back here unless you get it open for us. I'll take care of it. Fudge, man, these guys are tough. Well, only that one dude's tough, but everybody else I can take care of. Jack, they're closing the gate. We'll be getting down here unless you get open for us. I'll take care of it. You get going. No way! 
take care of them first. Leave it to me. Still working on it. Hang tight. Good. One strong. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland. I'd fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car, drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. We'll see how it shakes out. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Damn. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car, drive it back to the swimming pool.
Great. Play the witty game, that's absolutely fine. Beth and Dr. M are all clear. It's time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. Okay, time to get a ride out of here. <laughs> Valley parking. Beloved by car thieves ever. You're coming with us. End of Act 3. Okay. Continue. Please continue, please. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, live action. Maybe? This thing growing inside me. No. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Morton, how is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're. They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. 
Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. I should have been here. Somebody made a false report. Sent me to the tunnels to divert my attention. Like I said, people working against you. Who was that on the radio? How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Oh, show... Hold to show Hatch. Alright, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those troubles. And then she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Hmm. Serene trusts, she's the trust that suspects Sophia as a traitor. And what about this one? I want him in Brad. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Oh. Serene chooses to trust Sophia and suspects Hatch is a traitor. It wouldn't make sense for him to think Hatch is a traitor, so it would make more sense if Sophia was a traitor. But she'll get arrested, though. Ugh. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her. Until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Oh, shoot. Did I just get Beth Wilder killed? Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been there the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. And there's other people. 50% agreed with this choice. The 31% of the community agree with this choice. Oh, did I chose a bad decision? <laughs> the treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? 
Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no. Put one of those on! All right, into the live action movie. Here we go. I hope Charlie dies. That guy is such an asshole. Episode 3 Deception. drops. What did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of Marduk's essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power the ability to take and give so freely, that kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it, just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside.
That's good. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. Uh-oh. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Admiral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene. If you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Oh boy, the stutters are back. I get the feeling that this man's gonna die. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where you going? You're right. Time's ending. Just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol? It's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is that is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I can, I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? But there's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. <laughs> What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. <laughs> Lead the way. Good, I'm glad you chopped him in the throat. Dr. Kim's lab. A 
I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment is unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. Shoot. He just killed everyone within that place. Are you serious? Well, oh, there goes Dr. Kim. How far along is she? Your wife? Three months. Congratulations. Shoot, run, 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 run. Matt's his guy. One guy? Yeah. Where's she? She's a chronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson. I got for her. Fiona. Fiona! You gotta listen to me. Hey! Oh ah. shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped this isn't me. It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Damn, Lamb's dead. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. 
Ooh, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! You got tricked, motherfucker. <laughs> well, good news is, you're alive. Bad news is, you and, um, that other girl are separated. I forgot her name. It's not Beth, it's the other girl. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They were all good men. Monarch's finest. about my treatments I'm afraid so you know what this means you don't know for sure that... I'm a dead man! Jack he wants me to become he, he wants me to suffer until the end Joyce and Wilder but what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without It's her. not her! It's him! She created him. It's Hatch! Him away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. Hatch used her fingerprints to get in and make it look like she did it. Even though it was him. Oh, shh. I chose poorly. Hatch was the traitor. Damn it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, let's go. Ah! <laughs> 
You didn't see that. Emily, give me the keys. <laughs> give me the keys, Get Emily. Away from me. Get Emily, away. listen. No. Listen. No. Please, please. please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me. A Fucking here. If Mama, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. But I'm you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Okay, good. End of episode three. That was interesting. Act four, the secret history of time travel. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. All right, guys, I want to end my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video on how you game so far. Subscribe if you want to see more gaming videos like these. All right, this is the game. Peace out. Not that. We see you on the next episode of Quantum Break. Bye bye.